Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is for the KCET choice entry which is now open, right? And there is a KEA guideline for you know different type of choices like choice 1, choice 2 and choice 3. What is the meaning of that is what I am going to explain in this video. And this is a very important and uh, any student who has got the any seat allotted or not allotted, he is uh, willing to participate in the second extended round, then they have to do appropriate choice entry. And uh, this is the what the topic which I am going to cover here. And if you select it, it says that if they select choice one, they will not be eligible to participate in second round of any of the engineering, farm sciences, seat allotment. So now this is very important. You should understand it clearly. Choice one definition says I am satisfied with UGCET 2023 allotted seat and I am willing to report to allotted college. Therefore, I should not be considered for further allotment and I will pay the prescribed fee by downloading the chalan. So you are ready to join the college and you are going to download the chalan from the KE website and then you will also pay the fees and after that you will also be able to download the admission order and with that admission order you are going to report to college and after reporting to college you will come back on the KEA website and you will log in and with your ID and password and then you will also report on the KEA website that you have joined the college. So please don't forget to report on the KEA website also otherwise seat can again go. So report both the places in college as well as on the KEA website. So the meaning of uh, you know choice one is that you are not eligible to participate in the subsequent round and th this is very easy so that you are happy with the college allotted. Next is the choice two students. So it says that I am satisfied with the college and the seat but I want to participate in the next round. So for those students also choice two students need to pay the fees. Please remember all the choice two students need to pay the fees by downloading the chalan from KEA website and once you have paid the fees but you don't need to report to college because you are going for the next round which is the second extended round. So choice two students don't need to report to college but choice two students need to pay the fees right to be there in the next round of counseling which is second extended round. What is the implication that choice two students are eligible to participate in the second extended round by keeping the seat allotted on hold. And if they get the better seat in the second extended round, they can join the new seat. But if they don't get any new seat, then they can join the old seat which is on hold. But most important thing is that you cannot go either on R. You cannot go back to your old seat. If you get a new seat in the second extended round, you have to accept it. You cannot say that I will go for the second round seat. No, you have to take the second extended round seat which is allotted newly. So it is very clear that for the choice two students, if they get the higher, higher order options of allotted seat, they will not be able to cancel it. They have to accept those seat in the second extended round. They cannot go to the go back to the seat in the previous round. Higher order option seats means, for example, you have done 145 option entries. Right, and the seat allotted to you is the priority number 85. Right, so current allotment is uh, priority number 85. So all the seats from 86 onwards to you know uh, last 145 will be deleted, and only one priority one to priority 84 will be called higher order options. So you can only do higher order options rest of the options will be automatically deleted by the system and you cannot add any new college or course only the existing option entry from the round 2 will be taken in the round 3 you can only reorder and delete candidates can alter delete and rearrange you cannot add any new college please remember next is the choice to uh, three students so choice three students says that I am not satisfied with the KCET seat allotted and I want to participate in the next round of counseling which is KCET second extended round by surrendering the allotted seat. So that means your subsequent you are rejecting the seat which you have got it got what that action means that all the students who do choice entry three can add the fresh option entry right. So it is very important all the choice three students can add the fresh option entry. 
and all the you know option entries saved by them in the earlier round will not be eligible right and they will have to do the fresh option entry so they can again do a pr pr college priority from 1 to 100 whichever they want a new college and a, a old college also so they can do anything there it is a new fresh entry for choice 3 but the only problem with choice 3 is that you are rejecting the old seat that means uh, you have your chances is that uh, new seat may not be available and you may not get any uh, uh, any seat at all right so that is a risk who are doing choice 3 but choice 3 students can do a fresh entry and also i have made another video yesterday that choice 3 students can do a fresh entry and the students who are not allotted any seat can also do a fresh choice entry for the prior, prior college priorities right you can add new colleges also now the uh, choice four students i am not satisfied with the ke allotted seat and i have got seat elsewhere i am cutting and not considered for allotment of seats so those students are going out of counseling so nothing they have to just press choice four and get out of the counseling and seat not allo allotted right so last is the seat not allotted students they are they need not excise any choice entry right because their seats their uh, entries will be automatically taken to the next round they are eligible to participate in the fresh option entry the option saved by them second round will not be considered for the next round and they can do the option entry so this is the same as last round you can do a fresh option entry but you don't need to do choice entry so that is the important thing Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the KE ongoings. Take care and bye.